Terminator 12, Transformers 8, Aliens vs. Predator vs. Liu Kang Sub-Zero wins. Finish him! The story isn't important, the characters aren't important, the humanity isn't important. What's important is making you sit at the edge of your seat and making you spend your money on this visual piece of entertainment where the protagonist is met with over-the-top odds, and it does it well. So you sit there in temporary awe at the edge of your seat. Next they'll have to put seat belts on the seats, right? Over the years we've learned what makes people feel like they've went for a ride. It's down to a science. It's like how modern EDM is purely designed to make you dance, which it does well. Over the years, we've learned what makes people want to dance. We've learned how to increase heart rates through sound, which translates to being high-energy music. Modern movies and EDM do their job well. They're full of energy, but are generally vapid of any real emotion, other than the kind of emotions you feel riding a roller coaster. You know, that turn was so perfectly and incredibly smooth on that ride that it almost made you tear up a little bit. At what point will people be completely tired of it? Hey, let's spend $15 on some movie that takes us on a ride but offers nothing particularly memorable other than, yeah, that was epic. As I've said before, movies should cost less to make now than ever. It's actually quite possible to make a sci-fi movie with only a $10,000 budget. It's all in the script, the characters, the acting, the humanity, and the emotions. It's also in what you don't see. We can use the old methods of not actually seeing what is foreboding to make it more foreboding. It makes it more like reading about a foreboding character in a book, or a foreboding scene in a book. Your mind creates the terror rather than trying to show all of it on the screen with CGI. But That's not going to happen, not until the Hollywood bubble bursts, and now that we have all the sexual assault elements starting to finally show their existence in Hollywood and people are getting an idea of how corrupt Hollywood has been for quite a long time, that bubble is likely to burst much sooner. I honestly can't wait to see it happen. I'm excited about that bubble bursting. It may temporarily hurt us as a country, but I think we'll come out of it stronger than before.